Welcome to TheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 22nd as we prepare for the Thanksgiving holiday break. Uh, well, it'll be a brief one, obviously. Uh, not expecting a whole lot uh, of action at this particular point. Uh, as we're seeing, there's just not a whole lot of short activity. There's been weakness from short-term buyers here on the DSC from a daily standpoint. But we're right on that previous resistance level slightly above it and so as long as it holds that uh, range we can expect the next push going back forward uh, if they're able to sustain it we're getting pretty elevated with the doc red in that and uh, there's a lot of uh, other catalysts that are starting to develop that uh, really will start to determine you know the direction of things and how strong the economy is versus soft or if it just continues to plug along because just plugging along is going to be generically bullish for things as it is anyway uh, with the holiday season regardless so you see from an nq standpoint likewise similar readings so none of that is uh, overly dramatic in any way shape or form and even a rising gold within the setup sure there's positive extremes so even a retest back to the 76 percent would not be out of character it's just uh, you've got to there's going to be some catalyst that will drive that kind of action. But uh, so far, pretty clean. Not a whole lot of range at this particular stage, and we knew that was going to happen as the, we entered the holiday week anyway. There was the big blow-up move, and then we just got to consolidate within that. Treasuries holding flat within their current range. Nothing special from that standpoint. Uh, oil just back up into the 23% range, still under that 80 uh, handle, so that uh, keeps things relatively at ease. No real drama there unless there's some kind of, uh, you know, we haven't had a big supply increase, but it really didn't affect things too much, obviously, of winter. And uh, still the possibilities with, you know, escalation in the Middle East and that there's a little bit of a premium built into things at this particular stage. And gold continuing to just get back to, you know, parity level, though, looking uh, modest at this particular stage with MBI white leading, even though the magenta is still strong over it. So that should maintain itself uh, where it is, at least, if not uh, continuing to push towards that 100% move. So we don't see any critical aspect there from a Bitcoin standpoint. Uh, cryptos, it, back and forth. I mean, you've got a lot of positive extremes, but none of that's uh, signaling at this particular stage. We can see that uh, cyan under red. Uh, and this is pretty much what we're seeing throughout uh, most of the upside markets with that uh, cyan reading. So nothing warrants, you know, critical concern at this particular stage as far as things go. I think we're just looking at intra-trading. ETH, still a little weaker overall than uh, Bitcoin, but uh, holding on just fine from that standpoint. We look at it from our 50K. We had a brief retrace to the 50%, which was actually a pretty decent move. Uh, filled in positive extremes going all the way back. Uh, to right from the beginning of the breakout move. So that is pretty clean, healthy, and started another up moving. When this was taking place, it looked like it was going to be turning around anyway um, when we were looking at the details. Um, even now, you got uh, Magenta over MBI White. Uh, the critical thing, though, is now that MBI is, uh, Magenta is over this level, it's got to maintain above that uh, 25 level at a minimum and clearly above 33 to continue to push uh, in a strong manner. And we will look at it from a 5K standpoint. Yes, got my 5K chart back up. Hopefully it lasts longer than a couple of days. But uh, early on, you could see that was the selling and then it just built up uh, from the buys by mid morning. And then it was just normal trade range and they filled it back in at the after hours just to take out that low again and revisit it. So that's all pretty clean action and um, each of the MBI white spikes that took place in there led to the corresponding move back down. Um, it's just you've had to, uh, to respect that uh, turnaround when that magenta gets back back over that yellow uh, and you get a strong build. Um, even when you do have the MBI white spike, the magenta took it over so that move to the 50% was about the best you could expect from it and it's been turnaround from that point on. So hope everyone has a great uh, Thanksgiving, and of course, even Friday will be a short day, um, but I'll still probably cover uh, some of the action if anything changes uh, during the uh, holiday period, so we'll see how that goes. But overall, everything's looking pretty clean from our reading standpoint. So as always, trade well. If there's anything relevant, I'll put it on the Skype chat.